The release of the new Uber Twitter has given me a chance to redo my Uber Twitter video. Excuse the uh, Durka Durka noise from the phone. So Uber Twitter has fixed up a few features, added some new stuff. So what I'll do is I'll just and update their, their user. So we take a look at the options menu. You can update your status, of course. You can refresh, look at your at replies, direct messages. Uh, you can do replies, retreats, direct messages. You can look at the list of your friends, your followers, everyone. You can look at your timeline. You can search Twitter. You can also view trending topics. You can copy a tweet. And I'll just quickly take you to the options menu because it uh, lets you how you want Uber Twitter to behave with respect to location. It has GPS support and cell tower support. So you need to decide in here whether you want to update your Google Talk. And then here's where you choose whether you want to use GPS updates, whether you want to add your location to every tweet or add the location to uh, your pictures, whether you choose or whether you don't want that stuff at all. You can also have uh, use the GPS to update your profile location. You set your fonts. Whether you want to use small size avatars to give you a little more space. Uh, how often you refresh the timeline. And uh, some of the user interface options like how many tweets you want to retrieve and how many, uh, how big you want your icon cache to be. Uber Twitter also supports uh, cameras and taking pictures. Unfortunately, I don't have a camera in this BlackBerry, so I can't really show you. Uh, you can send feedback to the developers. It also has the option whether you want to exit or just close it. And if you close, it will continue to update your timeline in the background. So you can see that the, the colors, different colors of the tweets are a little hard to see here. But they've sort of freshened up the user interface. And that's the new version of Uber Twitter.